Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown. But we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Where did you leave the bus queue for Dawood Rangan? I can't find it. I haven't met the new foreman yet. Is he better than the last one? Matani, yaar. He's still in the office. I know Miss Shah is supposed to meet with him on the bridge and talk about how to make you lazy workers do more. But so far, he hasn't come out. Who are you calling lazy? Hmm. Vanya Shah is eager to meet the new foreman of the Mumbai laundry business. However, the foreman has taken refuge in his office, unwilling to meet with her at this time. You might be able to use this to your advantage, 47. 
I work 15 hours every day. Aha, but I just reeling the world. <laughs> A little privacy, please. God also told him what happened to the Indian folk. I'm pretty sure that's why he's not coming out. So he's waiting for my <laughs> I'm ready for my meeting with Miss Shah now. Miss Shah's been waiting for this all day. The foreman's ready to meet up with Miss Shah on the bridge. We're heading there now. Follow me to the bridge. The way she suddenly moved in and took over the... What's up? Oi, kapde gande hai abhi bhi. You need to put in more effort. That's not even close to good enough. Just through here. Miss Shah will be along. Better get your shit together. So, that's the new guy, huh? How long is he going to last, you think? A week? Depends on what the Queen decides to do with him, I guess. He looks tough enough. Might last a week in the pits. Maybe even two. Maybe he's been working really hard on that report of his. Maybe she'll actually keep him on. I can't imagine that. He's been hiding inside that little office of his all day, afraid to come out. The new foreman finally graces us with his presence. What do you have to report? Well done, 47. You've managed to lure Vanya Shaw out into the open. Anything I could see a here. lot of dead weight. I've made a similar observation. Tell me more. Well, the objective is find the root of the problem, work to get close to it, and then eradicate it. I like your thinking. How would you approach the task you see before you? My usual method is prepare intensely, study the problem, learn everything I can, analyze all approaches. The idea is to gently nudge people to do what I want. And then, once the objective is in my sights, perfect execution. Not afraid to spill some blood in the process? Not at all. In fact, I find that happens quite often. I like you, Fu. I think this could be the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. I aim to please, Miss Shah. You think I don't see you down there, little ants? Scurrying about at your own pace? Taking unnecessary breaks? Drinking my water? Wasting my money, 
You have had it easy up until now. But your new foreman will bring some order to this rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. You hear me? Huh? Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Excuse me, you know who Gregory Arthur is, right? A famous American actor? Have you seen him around the city? No? Please tell him to come see me if you do. He's got a photo shoot inside the tower, and Mr. Rungan does not like to wait around. Gregory Arthur, a famous Broadway star, is apparently late for a photo shoot inside Rangan's unfinished tenement tower. Hang on, he uploaded a selfie on social media about half an hour ago. Hmm, the Mumbai food district. He's likely still there, 47. Forty-seven. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. Forty-seven. I'm picking up Gregory Arthur's cell phone signal. He's close by. Interesting look, 47. Well, Darwood Rangan is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute now. No need to keep him waiting. Stand still, and it will be over soon. Okay, we're good to go. All right, everyone. I'm here. Excellent. This means we can get on with it. Good. Good.
Look who finally showed up. Looks like you had a rough night. So, I just wanted to say, I absolutely loved you in Blundering Frights. I thought it was a brilliant performance in a very funny horror comedy. Oh, thank you. You know, my brother directed it. I'll be sure to let him know you liked it. You didn't do very well, but, but I understand it has become... How's everyone? Ready for the photo shoot? I know I am, so let's do this. Great. Folks, let's all get into position for the big photo. All right. You will look great. Focus on me now. So, Miss Hassan, I guess you're ready for another round of Mumbai Hero soon. I've got big plans for a scene. Hmm? Big plans. I'm sure you do. I think you will need to talk to my agent about that. Ah, agents. I never did like them. Deco, I prefer the more direct approach. Acha. Well, I'm hopefully kicking off some international roles soon. So, my availability may be limited. I see. Well, I certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals, Miss Hassan. Great work. Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur and Hassan? As if they're that important. I suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me! <laughs> if you say so, Mr. Rangan. <laughs> I do, I do say so. Come, come. Shoot. Oh, Gregory, stick around, huh? I want to talk to you when I'm done here. All right, people, get off the stage. It's time for the big guy to do his magic. Excellent, 47. It looks like Rangan wants a private word. I suggest you humor the man. Beautiful, Mr. Ranga. Oh, maybe this way is good. Huh? The women really like this pose. <laughs> when I pull off this look, all housewives in a two-mile radius will paint automatically. That's perfect. I think that's enough beauty shots for one day. Great. That's a wrap then. Champagne for everyone. Are Mekarao, great things will come from this movie, guys. Let me tell you, I've got a feeling that this one is the one that will make me famous. You know, it just goes to show that hard work and dedication is what is needed in this business, yeah. Mr. Rangan, you wanted to see me. Ah, Gregory, yes, yes. Come with me upstairs. I have something important to talk to you about. Gregory, Gregory. Yes, As you know, there's a lot at stake with a production like this. Hmm? Everyone needs to play ball. We are on the same team, after all. But it's important to establish a pecking order. Hmm. Soon, all of Mumbai will be mine. I'm sure you can imagine what that means. Okay, Gregory. I just need my friend here to pat you down. Don't want any... Recording devices or things like that accidentally going on. Hmm? I'm sure if you, you want to come through this way, I'm going to have to do a quick pat down. Funny. My mother always said I had good hands. Said I should have been a surgeon. And you were good to go, sir. Thank you. Thing is, I don't like you. I don't like the way you dress, the way you 
behave yourself around the women on set. Or the way you try to steal my thunder. I'm willing to overlook all of this, Gregory, because we can make great things together. However, and this is very important, if you ever try to take my place, if you ever think you can become bigger than thou, Rangan, you're in for a world of fun. I will destroy you and your family. Your mother, your friends, your pets, anyone and everyone will die. Hmm? Do as I tell you, and I can make you more famous than you've ever dreamed of. Cross me, and you're dead. Understood? I don't. Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. Forty-seven. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. 
With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. Forty-seven, that man there, he resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. Are you going somewhere, sir? I need a taxi. No luck. I cannot believe that we can get loaned to the Maelstrom. My brother told me a story about the Maelstrom years ago. Three dragons. No, that wasn't him. What are you doing? You need to open the shop. There are people waiting outside already. I I can't remember what he looks like. The guy the pro wanted me to provide information to, you know. Their boss. They showed me his picture in their hideout two days ago. I was so stressed out. I thought they were going to kill me or something. I, I can't remember his face. What if he shows up and, and, I, and I miss him? Then you should go and explain it to them. They probably still have the picture there. What if they hurt me? This barber is tangled up in some shape. What will happen to you? Or if they decide to burn down the shop like they did with that other guy with the metal recycling, I won't do it. Pave, I told you we would get into trouble with this snitching business. But you had to go and earn some easy money sharing information with the gangs. This is your mess. You fix it. All right, 47. We're open for business. We know what the Maelstrom looks like and expect him to show up. Patience You're up, and sir. shaving cream is what's on the menu now, 47. That's nice of him. Who is your father? Bhavan Vaishnav. The name rings a bell. Well, he's a big fan of your work. I'm pleased. That's it. You're done. As always. Beautiful work. Forty-seven. That man by the counter. That's the maelstrom. Well, looks like our patience paid off. How about you invite him in for a close shave? Shame, I'm ready for you. not the maelstrom. All right, I'm ready for my shave. Make it a close one. The tides are changing, my friend. Can you feel it in the air? My bones are creaking with joy at the prospect of what is about to happen. I don't feel anything, I'm afraid. You will, friend. You have an important task ahead of you, have you not? I sense that about you. Together, we will all release the shackles that have bound us far too long and rise up against those who seek to keep us down. Whether those are our friends or foes, a day of reckoning is coming, 
is it not? It does seem unavoidable, indeed. The question you must ask yourself when the time comes is what side you choose to be on. But that is not for me. For now, focus on your business and what you do best, friend. That is all. I will do that. Okay. Good as me. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. You came home. I knew you would. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Uh, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact. You and I. Do this. We both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. We were going to tear it all down. The Institute. Providence. Everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. 
Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first Constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. <sighs> Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember. <laughs> 